Welcome back here on Katie Country 94 and Katie Country 94.com, the sports ticket, where Brandon Cox, the head coach of the Bullet Trojan baseball team, coach are getting set to open out the season today. Uh, just kind of looking at your group here this year, uh, I know you didn't have everybody come back out, but uh, you have a couple all leaguers and Lance Lundeen and Brody Schroeder that are back for you uh, that'll kind of provide a base, a uh, total of five seniors with uh, Noah Gershner and, and Jarek Rexroth and Christian Mears as well. But uh, kind of looking at your team and, and as you get uh, ready for this season, what are some of the things that you've seen? so far in practices and and what you have back uh, getting ready for the the 2024 campaign yeah you know practice so far been going really well um this last week is the first week we're able to have everybody at practice you know with the success the basketball team had and all that kind of stuff and spring break trips and all that so we're finally getting the whole team together so we're able to see you know what we've got and and so far this year like i said i've liked what i've seen in practice there's there's been a good improvement over the last few weeks here and uh you know, like you said, we got a couple of all leaguers back and, and four or five upperclassmen there that have helped us out in the past. So um, we got a good core. So I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys can do throughout the course of the year. Yeah, I think obviously uh, one of the biggest things when you talk about a baseball team and, and how you can have success is a, a, I think most people would agree that it starts kind of with pitching and, and how you can do with pitching and defense. And uh, I know your staff's going to look a little bit different this year, but what do you see from that aspect and, and how are you looking here early on? Yeah, you know, that's what we always tell the guys. If you throw strikes and play defense, you'll be in any game. And so, uh, you know, early on in the season here, we're going to kind of hang our heads on some of our upperclassmen here, have them go out there, throw some strikes, and then play some good defense behind them. And and, uh, we'll see how things kind of progress throughout the course of the year and see if some younger guys kind of step up and maybe fill a role with, with the pitching staff as well. And then, obviously, when you, you look at who you've got back in the field and then hitting and, and things like that, uh, you know, years change, teams change year to year with, with the style of play probably that you'll have. You know, one year you might have some power hitting guys, and, and then the next year you're going to have to, you know, scratch some, some runs together, maybe like the, the Royals did with keep the line moving in 2015, right? But uh, what do you feel like uh, your strengths are maybe offensively and, and what you could do on, on, on that side of the plate there? Yeah, uh, I absolutely agree with you. You know, we did. We don't have a lot of power in the lineup, but I do think we've got probably, you know, six or seven guys that are all kind of the same. You know, they're going to put the ball in play. they got decent speed. So uh, we'll see what we can do, you know, kind of a little bit more on the small ball side of things, uh, moving run over, runners over, maybe getting the running game going a little bit. Um, but like I said, you know, I feel like we have some guys that are interchangeable, and it's, it's going to be a fun time throughout the year to see how we can kind of change up the lineup and, and see how we can produce offensively. I know you focus on, you know, when you start the season, just what's ahead of you, the, these first couple games. And, and obviously, I know you got a lot of things that you got to figure out once you get on the field. But as far as what the league actually looks like as a whole, who are some of the teams that you're looking out for in this league this year and, and, and seeing uh, some of the talent that they have here? You know, our league's pretty, pretty good this year in baseball overall. You know, I think uh, there's some pretty good pitchers in the league. You know, Sacred Heart um, throws out uh, the Bogart kid. He's, he's pretty solid. Um, and then you go over to Ellsworth, and they got the Ross kid. He's probably an all-state type player as well as the, the Bogart kid from Sacred Heart. Um, and then, you know, Southeast graduated quite a few guys last year, but uh, they always seem to come up with some quality pitching and, and know how to play baseball over there. So it's going to be a pretty competitive league um, overall, and uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a good year to, to get out there and see how we compare to those teams. Coach Brandon Cox of the Beloit baseball team, we, we certainly thank you for the time and wish you the best of luck this season. All right, thanks a lot, Dusty.